Hello students, Ms. Swanson here, and today we're taking a look at the magnification equation for mirrors. So we've seen this picture already, showing us the reflection of an object in a concave mirror, and we can see the different descriptions of how the image looks and how the object looks, and we're going to be talking about those conventions at the start of our lesson today. So we have two learning goals today. The first is to describe the conventions used for concave and convex mirrors, and the second is to calculate magnification, object height, image height, object distance, or image distance when you're given the other required variables. So let's start off with the conventions. You should have already watched the video on the mirror equation. So some of these will be familiar and some of these will be new. So we'll start off just by drawing our ray diagram. We have here an object in front of a con concave mirror. And if we draw a light ray parallel to the principal axis, it will reflect through F. A light ray going through F will reflect parallel to the principal axis. And where they cross is where the top of the image will be. So the distance between the object and the vertex is DO, D for distance, O for object. The distance between the image and the vertex of the mirror is DI, D for distance, I for image. The distance between the focus and the vertex is F for focal length. The height of the object, which is a new convention for us, is HO, H for height, O for object. And the height of the image is HI, H for height and I for image. Let's take a look at these in the convex mirror. So we'll start off by drawing our ray diagram. And here we have our object and our image. So the distance between uh, the object and the vertex is DO. The distance between the image and the vertex is DI. The distance between the focus and the vertex is F. The height of the object, HO, and the height of the image is HI. So we can see the same um, symbols are used for each of these. So now let's take a look at the conventions. And we can see there's quite a few. The first few are the same as what we've seen already. And then there are a couple new ones thrown in there. So for DO, it will always be positive. So the object distance for every single question will be positive. It should never be a negative number. For the image, if it is a real image, we'll use a positive number for DI. And if it's a virtual image, we'll use a negative number for DI. Now remember, just like what we saw in the last video, if the distance of the image is measured to be 10 centimeters, if it's a virtual image, on our paper we'll write negative 10. Even though the actual distance that we measured using a ruler or whatever means is 10 centimeters, the convention is to write negative 10 so that we know it's a virtual image. So it's always necessary to include that negative sign for the virtual image or positive sign for a real image. For HO, it will always be positive. It will never be negative. So every single question, HO will be a positive number. HI will be positive when the image is upright, and it will be negative when it is inverted. So similar to what we saw with the real versus virtual, even though when we look at the object and we measure it with the ruler, we'll say maybe the height of the, of the image was uh, five centimeters. Even though we're measuring five centimeters, if it is an inverted image on our paper, we'll write negative five to represent that it was inverted. Even though the actual ruler tells us five centimeters, we write negative so that we know it's inverted. Our focus will be positive for concave and negative for convex, and we've seen that rule already. Um, again, we just use the signs to indicate whether it's concave or convex. It has nothing to do with the distance we measure on the ruler. And magnification is positive when it is an upright and virtual image, and it's negative if it's inverted or real. So these are, uh, for magnification, there are two different descriptions based on whether it's upright or inverted or if it's real or virtual. So we get a little bit more information from the magnification. So let's take a look at the magnification equation. We'll start off with the one that's in white there. This is the standard format for the magnification equation. You can see there are two equal signs within the equation. That means we can actually split the equation into several pieces. It means that the magnification is equal to the height the, of the image over the height of the object. It's also equal to the negative of the distance image, the image of the distance, the 
distance of the image over the distance of the object, the negative of that. So we can see that magnification is equal to both of those things. We could also see that the height of the image over the height of the object is equal to the negative of the distance of the image over the distance of the object. So we have several pieces. So if we look at the colored equations below, these are actually the three uh, sort of forms of the equation that we have. So we have the magnification as it relates to height, magnification as it relates to distance, and height as it relates to distance. So those are the three uh, types of information we can get from this equation. When we use the equation, we need to choose which of those three colored versions is the appropriate one to use. So if we're given information about magnification and height of the image and we need to know height of the object, we would use the first orange one because we don't have any information about distance, so we won't use that piece of the equation. If we're given information about heights and distances but nothing about magnification, we would use the blue one because we have no information about magnification, we don't want that piece of the equation. So we need to pick and choose based on the information we have, which version of the equation is most appropriate. So let's take a look at an example. A concave mirror produces an inverted image that is magnified 2.5 fold. Determine the image distance if the original object was placed 4 centimeters in front of the mirror. So we're given a lot of information here. Let's start off with this. So we have a concave mirror. It produces an inverted image that's magnified 2.5 fold and then we need to determine the image distance if the original object was placed 4.0 centimeters in front of the mirror. So there's lots of information here. So let's start off with our givens. We have a concave mirror that produces an inverted image that is magnified 2.5 fold. So our magnification is 2.5, but it tells us that it's an inverted image, and our conventions for inverted image for magnification is to use a negative sign. So if it's inverted, it is negative magnification, so we'll put negative 2.5. Magnification doesn't have any units, so we can leave out those units. Um, the next part, uh, the original object was placed 4 centimeters in front of the mirror, so the object distance is 4.0 centimeters, and object distances are always positive, so we leave it as 4.0. And then required, the question is asking us to determine the image distance. So the distance of the image is di, so we have question mark di. So now we have the step where we need to figure out which piece of the equation to use. Well, we're given information about magnification, and we're given information about distance, and we're asked about distance. We have magnification and distance. So we're going to use the piece of the equation that relates magnification and distance, and ignore the piece that has to do with height. So this equation is going to be magnification equals negative di over DO. And now if we rearrange that equation for DI, our DI is going to equal negative magnification times DO. So let's substitute and solve now. DI is going to equal negative, our magnification is negative 2.5 times DO, which is 4.0 centimeters. And if we do that math, we'll end up with 10 centimeters. Remember, if we have a negative times a negative, that ends up being a positive. So our answer is positive, our DI is positive. And so if we write our sentence here, the image is 10 centimeters from the mirror. And if we take a pause here and think about this, does this make sense? Well, we have a concave mirror. Whenever concave mirrors produce inverted images, like it tells us in the question, whenever it produces inverted images, they're always real. Since our answer di is a um, positive number, that means di is real, that the image is real. 
And if we have real and inverted, then we know we have the right combination of what can exist with a concave mirror. If it told us that the um, mirror produces an upright image, well, upright images only exist in the virtual form for a concave mirror. So if it was virtual, then our DI should have been a negative answer. So always check that you have something that makes sense for the type of mirror that you're working with. Let's take a look at another example. Determine the image height for a 5.00 centimeter tall object, place 45.0 centimeters from a concave mirror if the image is real and is 22.5 centimeters from the mirror. So we have a ton of information here, let's find all of it. So the image height for a 5.00 centimeter tall object, so the original object was 5 centimeters. It's asking us to find the image height, but the original object height was the 5 centimeters. It was placed 45 centimeters from a concave mirror, so the original object was 45 centimeters from the mirror. The image is real and is 22.5 centimeters from the mirror. So the image is 22.5 centimeters from the mirror. So lots of information here. Let's start off with our given information. So the original object, whoops, the original object has a height of 5.00 centimeters and this is positive because object heights are always going to be positive based on our conventions. Um, it, the distance of the object, so it says the object is placed 45.0 centimeters from the mirror and again distances of objects are always positive based on our conventions. Uh, it tells us the image is real and is 22.5 centimeters from the mirror. So the distance of the image is 22.5 centimeters. And I chose positive 22.5 because it is a real image. If it was virtual, we would write negative, but it's a real image, so we write positive 22.5. And then required, this is based on the very start of the question, it says determine the image height. So we want to know what HI is. So let's analyze this. What piece of the information, or sorry, which piece of the equation are we going to use? We're given information about heights and distances, and we need information about heights. So we have heights and distance, nothing about magnification, so we'll cut out that piece of the equation and just use the piece about the heights and distances. So our equation that we're going to use is HI over HO equals negative DI over DO. And if we rearrange this equation for HI, we end up with negative DI times HO over DO. So now we can substitute and solve for this. So HI is equal to negative and our di is 22.5 centimeters times ho, which is 5.00 centimeters, over do, which is 45.0 centimeters. So if we do all of that math there, we're going to end up with the height being negative 2.50 centimeters. Now remember, if height is negative, that indicates an inverted image. So let's take a look at our question again. We're dealing with a concave mirror, and it tells us that the image is real. Concave mirrors that have real images, those images are always inverted. So it says real, and our answer says the height is negative, so it's inverted. That can exist in a concave mirror, so we have the correct sign for our answer. Now remember, those signs, those positive and negative signs, only give us information about if it's concave, convex, inverted, upright, real, virtual, so on. It doesn't actually mean that if we took a ruler, it would somehow give us a negative sign. It just tells us that we're dealing, in this case, with an inverted image. So the actual height 
of the image is 2.50 centimeters. It's 2.50 centimeters inverted. That's where the negative comes in, but the actual measurement is 2.50 centimeters. So when we state our answer here, we're going to say the height of the inverted image is 2.50 centimeters. So we stated that it's inverted, so we don't need the negative sign. The negative sign is not something we can actually measure, so we just call it 2.50 centimeters, and we say in words that it's inverted because that represents the same thing as the negative sign. So let's take another look at our learning goals. You should be able to describe the conventions used for concave and convex uh, mirrors. Those are the positive and negative signs. You should be able to calculate magnification, object height, image height, object distance, and image distance when we're given the other required variables. If you can do this, fantastic. If not, please re-watch the video. And if you're still having trouble, please come ask me in class tomorrow. All right, that's all for now. Bye-bye.